conclusions. Massive head trauma, mostly to the left side. Partial collapse of the chest cavity, mostly to the right. There's some scarring on the back of the hand, and the gas mask seems to be fused to the flesh, but I can't see any burn. Examine another one. This is impossible. We examine another. This is impossible. No. We've all got the same injuries. Yes. Exactly the same. Yes. Identical, all of them, right down to the scar on the back of the hand. How did this happen? How did it start? When that bomb dropped, there was just one victim. Dead. At first, his injuries were truly dreadful. By the following morning, every doctor and nurse who had treated him, who had touched him, had those exact same injuries. By the morning after that, every patient in the same ward, the exact same injuries. Within a week, the entire hospital. Physical injuries as plague. Can you explain that? What would you say was the cause of death? The head trauma? No. Asphyxiation? No. The collapse of the chest cavity? No. All right. What was the cause of death? There wasn't one. They're not dead. It's all right. They're harmless. They just sort of sit there. There's no heartbeat, no life signs of any kind. They just don't die. And they've just been left here. Nobody's doing anything. I try and make them comfortable. What else is there? Just you. You're the only one here. Before this war began, I was a father and a grandfather. Now I'm neither. But I'm still a doctor. Yeah. No, the feeling. I suspect the plan is to blow up the hospital and blame it on a German bomb. Probably too late. I know. There are isolated cases. <coughs> isolated cases breaking out all over London. Stay back, stay back. <coughs> Listen to me. Top floor. Room 802. That's where they took the first victim, the one from the crash site. And you must find Nancy again. Nancy? It was her brother. She knows more than she's saying. She won't tell me, but she...